I had lived in the constant threat of my children being snatched away, in the fear that my husband would have me deported, and now I was afraid that I was going to die. You have to start again like a child and not carry the baggage of whatever you've been going through or dealing with in your life. Welcome to Canada. I will be back tomorrow morning. And then he left us. True emancipation and true freedom was in being alive and in choosing to live my life purposefully. We deserved better. That moment that adversity gave to me was a gift. And in that moment, I was freed. And for every wife who hushes up her husband's atrocities, a woman like me will be defiled and abused. My wife should empower women who are invisible and struggling and suffering just like I was. Especially those who are diminished by their own fears. First question to you when you don't have to give me an answer, it's a question that you need to think about is, who are you? Tonight, I roar for you so that you may be moved to take your center stage in life and roar for silence is an ally of abuse. Get a high on life. Live and let live. Love and let love. I have written two books that are in production and created a program called Be Your Own North Star that empowers women to be their own guiding force. Because I believe everyone has a story and everyone is a hero. This voice is for you. Let us all, let us all roar together so that no abuse of any kind can ever go into the lives of our future generations. Thank you.